today we'll be connecting our Arduino NicolaSense ME board to the Edge Impulse Studio. First, navigate to the documentation at docs.edgeimpulse.com. Then, on the left-hand side, scroll down to the Development Platform section, and underneath Officially Supported MCU Targets, you'll find the Arduino NicolaSense ME board page. From this board page, scroll down, and underneath the Connecting to Edge Impulse section, Download the latest Edge Impulse ingestion sketch by clicking on the link under Update the Firmware. Open the Nicholas Sense ingestion sketch in your Arduino IDE. You can change the sensor that you sample on the Nicholas Sense board by navigating to line 30 of this ingestion sketch and changing the commented out define to a different sensor of your choosing. For today's example, I'm going to select the sample accelerometer define value to upload new accelerometer motion samples to our continuous motion recognition project in the Edge Impulse Studio. You will also want to make sure that you change the frequency hertz define value to the sample frequency of the sensor that you have chosen. In this case, I'm choosing the accelerometer, so I'm going to keep the frequency hertz at 10. Select your Arduino Nicola Sense board in the Arduino IDE, Tools, Board, Nicola sends ME, select your port, then click Upload. The Arduino IDE will compile this ingestion sketch and then flash it to the board that you have connected over USB connection to your computer. Now that the Arduino IDE has finished compiling and flashing the ingestion sketch onto the Nicola Sense, open up a terminal program and type edge-impulse-data-forwarder dash dash clean dash dash frequency 10. If you have previously connected to the Edge Impulse CLI, you'll need the dash dash clean in order to select a new project. Then sign in with your username and password and select the project you'd like to connect your board to. Once you've selected your project, the Edge Impulse CLI will automatically detect the Nicola Sense board that you have plugged into your computer, and you're going to name your sensor axes. You'll need certain exact values depending on the sensor that you've chosen, and these values are listed in the Edge Impulse documentation for the Nicola Sense board. So because I've chosen the accelerometer today, I'm going to type ACCX, comma, ACCY, comma, ACCZ. Then I'm going to name my Nicola Sense board and it will automatically show up in the Edge Impulse project that I've selected under the Devices tab. Congratulations. You've now connected your Arduino Nicola Sense ME development board to your Edge Impulse project. To get started acquiring new data and uploading your samples from your Nicola Sense board into your project, click on the Data Acquisition tab and under Record New Data, click the Start Sampling button. Once you've finished collecting all of your sensor data, finish training and building your machine learning model by following along with the continuous motion recognition tutorial in the documentation. When you're ready to deploy your model to your Nicola Sense, navigate to the Deployment tab and click on the Arduino library. Then scroll down and click Build, and you'll get a Arduino library that you can import into the Arduino IDE. Instructions for how to import this library can be found in the Edge Impulse documentation. Once you've imported the library into the Arduino IDE, go to File, Examples, the name of the Edge Impulse project that you've created, then select Nicola Sense Inference. Now, save this inference sketch somewhere on your computer, then you're going to compile the inferencing sketch with the Arduino CLI. The commands that you'll use to compile the inferencing sketch using the Arduino CLI are available to copy and paste from the Edge Impulse documentation. Wait for the Arduino CLI to finish compiling. To see more output, add dash dash verbose to the original command. Then upload the compiled sketch to your Nicola Sense using the Arduino CLI upload command. Once you've flashed the inference sketch to the Nicola Sense using the Arduino CLI, you can view the machine learning model running directly on the edge without any internet connection using a serial terminal on baud rate 115200.